An in-depth look now at a trend many parents-to-be are considering. Elective baby deliveries on the rise. That is literally scheduling when your newborn will arrive, either by C-section or inducing labor. The night team's Mark Lovacott revealing the pros and cons of this trend, Mark. Hey, Eric, specifically we're talking about inducing labor prior to the recommended 39 weeks. Doctors here say it can be dangerous for baby, but for some parents, the convenience factor is the trump card. <laughs> For Brian and Jessica Yeager, I get 600. life can be extremely hectic. Both work, and they have twin girls. <laughs> <laughs> and another baby on the way. Like many parents, they wonder how will they manage childbirth with their schedules. I guess we both have just assumed our families will help us out, but both of our families live about an hour away. It would be nice to have something to schedule around, you know, to know like, okay, we have this tentative date where we can have people in place where we need them to help with the girls. The Jaegers are part of a trend, scheduling their delivery, and Jessica hopes it's by C-section. Right now, the elective deliveries are standing at about 29% of the births um, in this country, uh, and that's way too high. Uh, back in 1990, they were at 9%. It's not surprising. Does it make sense? Does it make medical sense? No. Doctors collectively share worries about any elective delivery before 39 weeks, induction or C-section, with no medical reason for it. In fact, doctors say the practice could lead to serious medical issues for baby, including respiratory and other developmental issues. Increased uh, risk of uh, requiring intervention by neonatology, potentially. And... Um, it is just not the recommended practice. But it still happens. I think our culture does impact this because we're all, you know, we're all checking our blackberries. We're all trying to, you know, get as much done as we can in a short period of time. And, and I think this is sort of a result of that. Barbara Rudolph works for the Leapfrog Group, a watchdog organization keeping hospitals nationwide in check. She's run the numbers from thousands of hospitals across the U.S. What we've seen is that there's there are hospitals that have zero elective deliveries, and then there are hospitals that have 40, 50 percent of their deliveries being elective deliveries. Rudolph says Madison hospitals are resisting the trend, but across the country, pre-39 week elective deliveries are up, partially because of pressure from very busy parents. There's uh, actually competition among hospitals where um, if patients can't get in at a certain time, they'll, they'll shop around to another hospital or another doctor trying to get that to be accomplished. What number is that? For Yeager, choosing a scheduled delivery is about convenience, but she says she'd never put her baby in any danger. It's a delicate balance for health and for peace of mind. It's more of a convenience factor for the family because you don't want any disruptions. Even the American Congress of OBGYNs has taken a stance on this issue, saying it does not support induction or C-sections before 39 weeks. Still, it happens, and many times it happens through either patient pressure or because of competition among hospitals to get a patient to do business with them. Again, researchers here in Madison say that we are doing well. We're not seeing really many elective deliveries whatsoever take place before 39 weeks. And so in the, in the Jaeger's case, what happened? What's the end well, result here? It, we're happy to actually report that Jessica actually gave birth oh. to a little girl, a healthy baby girl, just a few days ago. Quinn and mom doing well. Turns out they could not talk their dean doctor into doing an elective C-section, and Quinn came naturally on Saturday morning just a few days after her due date. And Jessica tells us she's actually really happy. She let it come naturally. Uh, she was a little anxious when she was going through the process, but she's really happy. You just how it turned don't want to take chances if you don't have to. Not right? at all, yeah. All right. News Mark Lovacott reporting. Mark, thank you. you bet.